Hi, this is Alan from MockDive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about of how you can record two microphones simultaneously in different spots or different tracks over on Audacity. So let me hop onto my desktop and show you exactly how you can do that. So right now we are on my desktop and of course the first thing we would need is audacity because that is the main platform or main recording software that we're going to be using it is for free over at audacityteam.org download we can just download it right here download for windows and then let's just go with the 64-bit installer you can choose whatever you need i'm just going to save it over at my desktop once you got that on your desktop, of course, you're going to be installing it. But since you're in this video, I figured you probably have Audacity. So we can just go and install that. But if you're just looking for a free software to record with, you know, again, Audacity is the way. Let's just press finish. And boom, let's just press X, X on both. But now if I record right here, as you can see, my microphone is being recorded right here, right now. But it is only one microphone. Where's my other microphone? I actually have one plugged in. Here, let me show you. So there's another microphone that I have. I actually call this my guitar microphone because I usually just place it over on my guitar. How do I, let's say I wanna record my music, right? How do I record this and this on separate tracks so I can edit them separately? Well, let me just go and stop this real quick. Let me exit out of Audacity. Let me just press no. So now that I have exited out of Audacity, what I want you to do is head over to vb-audio.com slash voice meter. So right here. And now that you're in the vb-audio.com slash voice meter, you can pick which version of voice meter you want. If you want the voice meter, the banana or the potato. Honestly, I'm just going to download banana because it gives me the usability that I need from the software, but also what we're going to be doing for the day. But again, it doesn't matter which one you select. Now I'm just going to install it, press run, press install. And as you can see right here, installation complete and successful, but I must reboot my system. So I'm going to press OK here and I'll be right back. Now that I have restarted my computer, what I can do now is go and search for voice meter right here. Open it up, whatever you install, if you install voice meter or the banana one, you get the same thing. As you can see, you get, I still get the banana and the voice meter up to you, which one you want to launch. But right here, what I want you to do is for hardware input one, I want you to select your microphone, the first microphone. For the input one, I selected this microphone. And then for my input two, I'll be selecting this little tiny microphone, which is called the Realtek. Now with that said, I need you to go ahead and select a main output device. And now you're probably asking, Hey, Alan, which hardware out am I supposed to select? Because that's what we're going to be feeding towards audacity. Well, you got to hop onto your browser again, and you got to download another thing. This one is the virtual audio cable. Again, it is for free. So we just go ahead again, links will be on the description down below. So I want to go and click on download right here on the windows driver pack desktop save this is going to be a zip file so you need 7-zip actually if you're on windows 10 or 11 you'll probably have 7-zip already so it's fine just extract it open it up and write down here vb cable underscore setup x64 run that install driver press install and again you got to reboot one more time so i'll be right back again with all of that done, I'm going to open up voice meter banana again. Again, depends on you if you've chosen the banana one. After you have selected your microphones on the voice meter application, what I want you to do is right click on the IntelliPan right here twice. And then from there, you're going to be receiving this panel. Do it on both microphones, put one on the hard left and then put one on the hard right. Now you want to be selecting the A1 here on the hardware out. And from there, you want to select cable input. That is the driver that we have installed lastly. Now we want to go back to Audacity, go to audio setup, go to recording device and change it to cable output. Now if I record, hi, how are you doing? Hi, hi. Nice. 
as you can see they have different waveforms i don't know if you can hear this but i'm gonna play it cool works both works as you can see different channel the upper one is this one and then the lower one is this one right here so let me just place this down and now you're probably asking hey alan i know you've got a recording fine and wonderfully you know both in semi way different tracks but how do you actually make it different tracks because right now it is recorded on one track only on left and then right well basically what i want you to do is just go and right click the track split stereo track to mono and then boom you got it different tracks i can mute this one i can listen to just this microphone or i can go and listen to this microphone by muting and then unmuting and that is basically how you can record two different microphones at the same time over at audacity and hopefully this video did help you and if it did make sure to hit that like button subscribe in the hot dive youtube channel and check our articles over at hawkdive.com and hopefully you have a nice day and see you guys around goodbye